Captain um, Eden Carruth, and um, we'll have to we, let's have a look at QRC lineup, and you're going to see that Afan King, Lamsey, Mohammed Nelson, Tuckett, Gray, James, Eve, Jaden, Dolly, Kenwin Jones, the coach. Very interesting, Rodan, for missing is, is the skipper Carruth. Yeah, Makai uh, uh, Nelson is in for him. Um, that's a massive miss. He's, yeah. He has national team experience, um, but they still have Tola Massey in there. He would be the anchor in the midfield. Um, they would need the, the trickery of Nelson to, 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 to open up the Mukarapo team. Well, let's have a look, quick look at the Mukarapo lineup. Deshaun Alexander is in goal, and it's Taylor, Latchman, Jarvis, Atiba, Henry, Mohammed, Edwards, Parks, McShine, and Dale Son as the coach. Yeah, I think uh, deal. But it's now picked up here by Nelson. Nelson working his way forward, plays the ball through. This could be a chance. Oh, this could be 1 0. It is 1 0. QRC has opened the score in here, and uh, really and truly, it was a good move. East Mukrapo, they were left open at the back, and they, they've paid the price. Yeah, bad giveaway. There's that high line once again, and, and if you don't get it right, there's always space in behind, and these nippy uh, QRC attackers this time took advantage of it. Good awareness as well. Good ball from Nelson. Caught in behind there. And I thought for a second he might be second best. But look at that. Just a tour around the keeper. Says thank you very much. It's mine. And uh, well, easy peasy. 11 squeezy. As trying to play through them. Um, they're not playing with much width. And it's a difficult surface to play on, to be fair. A few moments back there was a direct ball that caused QRC all sorts of problems. I'm not saying to kick the ball away, but maybe they could be a little more direct in their approach, like but this. Here's Taylor, plays it in field. This could be a chance here. It is a goal. So the ball has been put into the back of the net. It seems to be Jarvis. And uh, as soon as we said that, East Mukrapa going up that right side, squared it back in field. And it looked to be, if he was looking for a shot from that distance, but he's regained possession. Goes wide to Taylor. Taylor playing it. This is another chance here. He goes to the far post. Oh, my word. And all of a sudden, they have turned it around here. And is that Jarvis with his second? I think it is. But all of a sudden now, 25 minutes have been gone. And it means that East Mukarapu, all of a sudden, they have taken the lead. Yeah. And uh, I think Jarvis, he's taking his shirt off. He's going to get a yellow card, I'm almost certain. Yeah, almost a carbon copy of the, of the first goal. Yeah. They get it out wide and, and they get around, tuck it with a 1-2. And it's, 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 it's just roll across the six. Yeah, we've not seen maybe that shot um, from, from Jarvis in the second half that just went over the bar. But other than that, QRC have not really uh, threatened Alexander very much. Very, very similar to the first half. There were just two shots, uh, one shot from either team from outside the, the, the box. Um, other than that, it's just been fought in midfield, you know. A lot of unnecessary giveaways, scrappy play. Could you blame the, the, the pitch or, or, or probably the technique of some of the players? Or maybe a bit of both, but it's been generally scrappy. Well, here's the ball headed away, goes to Lamsey, and he sends it upfield, looking for Mohammed. He's going to give, he's got all heart. He doesn't stop running, doesn't he? No. Oh, and he's got the better here, and he has the shot, yeah. and he scored! Yeah. Well, well, Mohammed has scored here in the 61st minute, just as when we were talking about QRC, he hadn't created anything. But what a mistake at the back. Um, I think it was Henry at the back. He was fumbling with the ball. Mohammed, it looked to be a lost cause at one time. He never gave up. He ran for it. He challenged. He won it. I think at halftime, two all. And then a real opportunist goal uh, from Mohammed made it two all. And at the end of it, a, a good game. Uh, you know, the conditions were very difficult for yeah. them. For. Yeah, fair enough scoreline in the end. I don't think both coaches would be happy. Uh, either coach would be happy um, having both led. Um, but, but they will be happy not to lose, that's for sure. Well, let's have a quick look at the stats. Uh, ten shots for QRC, nine as East Mukrapos, both teams, six shots on target, nine fouls to three. 
two yellow cards for QRC, one for East Mukarapo, no red cards, seven offsides for QRC as opposed to four, five corners to seven, four saves each, and the possession, 52% for East Mukarapo, uh, 48% for QRC. So this, even the stats are very even. Yeah, yeah, pretty even. Um, a point is, is not going to do either team uh, much good in, in, in the standings and the grand scheme of skins. Uh, the grand scheme of things, but um, they'll be pleased not to have lost this game. Okay, let's go down the stairs to James. He's got the NGC man of the match with him. Oh, that's right. I'm here with the NGC man of the match, Jarvis. Two goals today. How do you feel about your performance? I felt very good. I've been working very hard over preseason for big, big games like this, and I wasn't happy with the point we got, but good, good going forward. Your two goals, of course, are position your team uh, to, to get a, a point today. Uh, you said you're not happy by it, but, but your individual performance. Um, um, yeah, I'm happy with my performance, although in the second half, I didn't perform as I wanted to. But going forward, I'll build on these two goals I got today and try to bring home victory to my school. Well, thank you very much, my friend. All right, so of course, that was Javis, our man of the match. We say goodbye to our viewers on CCN TV6 as we bring in the losing coach today. And uh, he is none he other than... Give Joe, brother. He yeah, gave Joe. Let, we didn't stay that. Let's do over that. I ain't come here for the... no losing coach. We lost. <laughs> and uh, well, in fact, uh, I must correct myself, of course. My good friend and, and former teammate, Dale Saunders, who, who Steve got a point today, Dale... This match is nail-biting for us as spectators. How was it for you as a coach today? Uh, not bad. Uh, some young charges. Um, I impressed with the effort and the attitude today. Um, we came at a point, we leave with a point. Yeah, and uh, what do you think went wrong or right for your team today? I think we scored two goals. That was, that was a positive. And I think we gave away two goals. So that was the negative part of it. Where do you move forward from here? Um, we take it one game at a time. We, we got two points in our last two games. So, you know, we'll go back on the training field and keep going. Thank you very much. Thanks Neil Saunders, of course, uh, of uh, East Mukurapu Secondary. His team are uh, getting a point today as we bring another good friend of mine, Kenwin Jones, to here today. Now, Kenwin, you got a point today. You went ahead, you went behind, and then you equalized in the end. Uh, how does this game feel for you? <laughs> a bit of sweet. Um, it was good to, to get a point, but of course, you know, in the end, we had so many chances that we could have scored the goal to go on top again, and it didn't happen. Chances at the end of the match today you feel as if you missed out somewhat from getting all three points? Well, of course, um, you can't you can get up into them positions, you know, three times on the bounce and not score. Um, you know, it's, it's, it's a tale of, of, of misfire in front, man. And, you know, we have to, we have to, we have to take it on the chin. Uh, we gave away two early goals in, um, in in the first half, two of the same goals, I think, and and it was just poor defending, um, the the lack of willingness to to get back into proper positioning, and and of course, see the danger over your shoulder. Yeah, and uh, you know, final question as I asked that deal as well. Second half of the season, where does your team go from here? Oh well, we have to keep fighting for every point possible to make sure that we stay in the division. Um, you know, um, we had quite a few, a few, a few games where we we lose games when we should not have, um, and of course we're in this position now. But we have to continue fighting until the end. Well, thank you so much, Kenwin. And we wish you best of luck moving forward. Thank you.